come in. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I'm Carrie Bernard. I'm here for the medical assisting position. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm a student at ECPI University, and I'm just about to graduate with my associate's degree in medical assisting. Uh, ECPI is a very unique medical assisting program. The university is accredited through SACS, so I have, will have an associate's degree, which in the field of medical assisting is quite unique. Also, our medical assisting program is accredited through ADFES, the Accrediting Bureau of Health Education Schools. And that gives us an opportunity to sit for certifications that other schools in the area that say they have a medical assisting program that their students cannot sit for. So I've got certifications in medical billing and coding, electronic health records, phlebotomy, EKG, as well as a programmatic certification to certify a clinical medical assistant. Um, that's great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Uh, yes. Um, before I came to this program, uh, I worked in um, uh, a restaurant, and uh, at the restaurant, I prepared food, I served food. Uh, we had to go through safe serve, so ultimately, um, I was involved with infection control practices before I even got to ECPI University, and I found that what I knew from safe serve and preparing food translated very well into infection control that I learned a lot about at ECPI University. Um, speaking of that, um, what are some other skills that you learned? Well, uh, one thing that I definitely learned was that everything that we have learned at ECPI in terms of menstruation and vital signs, phlebotomy, EKG, Ultimately, all of those skills have to include giving the patient the best care possible. It all comes down to the patient. We want to make sure that we address all of their needs and not fully understand as a medical assistant. I'm going to be the advocate for my patient, and I want to make sure that I address all of the concerns that the patient may have and make sure that I present those concerns to the uh, physician or nurse practitioner that I may be working with because, again, we want to make sure that our patient has a favorable outcome. Um, can you tell us some of your greatest strengths? I think one of my greatest strengths is I'm a lifelong learner. I'm always looking for ways to increase my skills. Um, at ECPI, I have more than 300 hours of hands-on training for the medical field, uh, learning vital signs, menstruation, electronic health records, uh, medical billing and coding, but I'm always looking for ways to increase my knowledge, increase my skills. Um, in addition to um, the training that I had at ECPI, I earned my associate's degree in medical assisting. I earned all of the certifications, and that was outside the class that we had put the time in to make sure we mastered that material. So I definitely pursued as much as I could get from the university. And I also try to learn as much as I can about my field. I constantly come to Indeed, reading job descriptions, looking at uh, the websites of employers that are advertising positions so I can learn as much about the field as possible. And of course, that's one of the reasons that um, I chose uh, Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist for my externship site. Once I had come to Indeed and saw that you all had a position available, and when I reached out to our program director, they said that there was an externship possibility there. I made sure that I did research on your facility as well as other cardiology practices in the area to make sure that the skills that I had would fit in well with your practice and also make sure that any skills that I felt were maybe a little bit lacking, I would better prepare myself to work outside of class to be ready to come to work for Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist. Sure, you know, there would be times where we would be 
with stats and everything with six and we were calling in. Um, and we had a large party that we weren't expecting to drop in last minute. So we were constantly having to work as a team and maybe a table that the person that was scheduled to work in that area could not get to at that moment. If I was free, I made sure and went over there and took care of that table. And I would want to do the same thing at Virginia Party Vascular Specialist. I would want to be part of the team and make sure that if I could see one of my medical assistant colleagues had a little more on their plate than that they could handle at that time, I would want to be sure that I stepped in and helped them in any way possible because ultimately, again, it comes back to our patient having a favorable outcome. And we want to make sure that we address their needs in a timely manner. They've made concessions to come to that appointment that day. They may have had to rearrange their complete life around work and family obligations. So again, I would want to make sure that we had a favorable outcome with the patient in a situation where we were extremely busy. I can imagine a lot of walk-in patients in addition to scheduled patients. So I'm sure that on a day-to-day -day basis, everybody is having to work out for each other to make sure that the patient gets seen in a timely manner, that their concerns addressed, and all that information relates to the provider in a timely manner. that were upset about the bill. Um, they would present something to myself or one of my colleagues and point out that they would order something. And then what we would do is we would try to talk with the person, the customer. Uh, we would make sure that we spoke in a professional manner. If need be, if it was a register, we wouldn't want to slow down everybody else behind them and cause a scene, so we would try to pull them to the side so it wouldn't interfere with the flow of customers. Uh, so if we could, we would try to voice their needs in private. Uh, we would make sure that we actively listened. We would obviously want to make sure that we were understanding the problem. Sometimes when somebody vents, that's all they need to do is vent. So we would want to make sure that we didn't take anything they said personally, that maybe after they got it out of their system, then they might, they might calm down. Sure that we understood what they said, and then once we understood what they said, we would ask them by repeating what they said, is this what you're trying to say? So that way they could tell that I mean, we could follow along with whatever their concern was. And then once we made sure that we were actually addressing their concern, if we couldn't resolve the issue, we would go get a manager to make sure that their issue was resolved. We would try to do that right there in front of them so they could see that we were actively engaged in addressing their concern. And then once the concern had been addressed, I would want to go back to that customer and make sure that all their concerns had been met and close the loop. If there was anything else that they had a concern about, we want to address it there. So again, they would ultimately leave having had a favorable experience. Can you tell us where you see yourself in the Well, I think with the certifications that I've earned while at ECPI University, I think I would be a good fit with Virginia Cardiovascular Specialists. Um, I've always had an interest in cardiology, and I understand that cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of males and females uh, in this country, and I think my skills would fit in very well. And because of the procedures that the physicians do here, angioplasties with stents, echoes, um, electrocardiography studies, electrophysiology studies, I think that there would be room for me to grow and earn more skills by in services or on the job training or being sent away to conferences. Um, I would want to take advantage of any of those that were available and grow within the company, adding more skills so ultimately I can help all of the providers and help the practice thrive and continue that excellent level of patient care that we're Cardiovascular specialist prides itself on. Well, I think that's about all the questions that we have. Is there any questions you have for us? 
Yeah, one of the things that I would like uh, to ask, you know, again, I, I told you I like to work in a team environment. Would I typically be paired with one physician or one advanced practitioner, or is it just kind of a grab and go scenario to where whoever is free sees the next patient? What would I typically um, have in terms of a relationship with provider, or like I said, is it just whoever is available? So it would be going from office to office. Okay, I like that. Um, I know every office is just a little bit different, so learning the tempo of each office would be very helpful in me, you know, adding to the skills. Um, again, working with them in different positions would also, and I know they all have a, a preference for the way they like to have things done. Again, that too would add to my skills. So that's something that I'm looking forward to that. Um, another question that I have too is. Your, since you do have multiple facilities, um, seven practices um, where the physicians will practice, does the medical assistant get to go into the cardiac cath lab and see procedures or the electrophysiology lab? And would I have the opportunity to, to get to view those uh, procedures? Because I would really like to learn more about those because I know this, the patients will have questions. And if I knew more about the procedures and could see the physicians performing those procedures, I think I could address the questions more thoroughly. Absolutely, I definitely want to get the procedures. Just depending on your time. Okay, very good. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind doing that off the clock either. If there was a time where a physician was going to uh, perform a procedure and you know all of the hours that I had that week were uh, centered on patient care, I definitely wouldn't mind coming in on the day off or before or after my schedule hours for that day to see what the procedures look like. And I think it would really help me grow in this position. Um, the other thing I guess I would like to ask is, do you all have any, you know, I mentioned wanting to grow within the company and add to my skills. Do you all have any on-the-job training or send your uh, medical assistants out for conferences or any other training opportunities? That way I could grow and add to my skills. Thank you so much for your time. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you.